back to Trader Abe Sports Cards and Collectibles. Hello, Trader Abe Nation. AC and Trader Abe sitting here at the Command Center. Getting ready to go way back on a Wednesday. We were sitting here uh, as an ice storm developed all around us where we live mm -hmm. uh, and basically got told by the mayor of our fair city to prepare to stay home all day on Thursday. Uh, because ice is coming in so we just had some dinner but we were just flipping through tv earlier and we saw a tv show or an old movie that was on called back to the future so we thought we would go back to the future and get back in the gray box we weren't in the gray box last week and we're getting closer and closer to wrapping up the gray box as you can see not enough cards in to make it stay stable uh, so we're just going to reach in there and grab some while i'm grabbing some cards for Can a real grab some? uh why don't you just reach in there and grab them while we're going to do a real quick short video uh tonight because our last few videos have been pretty long uh you know obviously the super bowl rip and the uh, probably need a few more than that but mm -hmm. here we go we'll do this put the thing away as we're getting ready to flip these cards out and go through them and see what comes out of the closet I want to remind you to join Trader Ape Nation by subscribing. How do they do that, Trader Ape? So, join the Trader Ape Nation. This is how you do it. So you subscribe. Yep. Of course. Right underneath that pink, pink flashing arrow. Mhm. Mm you can subscribe. And, and then you smash that notification button. Yeah. So don't break your screen because Absolutely. if you break your screen, well, you can't. Be hard like. to watch. Yeah, hard to watch. And, and obviously, like. like the video and leave a comment for us. All right, so not a very big stack. We're going to kind of cut through these as quickly as possible. Again, we don't know what they are. They could be amazing. They could be terrible. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you for going they on the ride be, with us. They could be terrible. Try and they shout out some of our some of our friends. Shape. We're going to try and shout out some of our friends while we flip through these. If we recognize some of their favorite teams, and we'll kick it right off the top here was Rocky. From Rad and Dad and B-Dog, Ricky Henderson of the Oakland Athletics from a 91 Donruss. Hey, here's the ever so popular That's checklist. That's a Stadium Club Baseball, cards number 801 through 900. And I quickly see, if you look here at number 813 in the set, Willie Blair is a friend of mine. He's a uh, former high school baseball coach here in Lexington, Kentucky. Really good guy. Played in the big leagues for several years. A great middle reliever. Your stadium club, Steve Wilson for the Dodgers. You know who likes the Dodgers? Oh, Blue over at Blue's Collectibles. Mm -hmm. Here we've got uh, Mike Walkden. Walkden. That's a bad baseball name for a pitcher. That's almost as bad as Bob Walk, but this is Walkden. And he's a Los Angeles Dodger. So, Blue's Collectibles again. Junior Ortiz, Cleveland <laughs> Indians. Had those cool M-frame Oakleys on back in the day. He's now part of the Cleveland Indians. He played for the Mets at one time, though. You can see his old, like, 84 tops card. Junior. Junior Ortiz. Ortiz. Uh, Cleveland Indians fan, our friend, and new subscriber to the channel, Hoss of Cards. Welcome to the family. Texas Rangers, Monty Ferris. I don't know that we have any Rangers fans, so if you are, give us a shout-out. I know that the Mad Hatter lives in Texas because we're going to send him a package. Uh, but there you go. And this is Carl Willis of the Minnesota Twins. I can only imagine that the Skull Brothers are Twins fans because they live in Minnesota. And you can check out our battle with them in just a couple weeks on March 1st. We're going to do a showdown with them. Now, this is the California Angels of Mark Icorn from Stadium Club back in the 90s. I think it's 92 Stadium Club, yep. Another one, Mike Fitzgerald. And I don't know any Angels fans. Uh, so if you are one, please let us know. Everybody likes Mike Trout, but nobody likes the California Angels, the Halos. And here's Bill Pulsifer from that same deal, and he's a New York Met. Now, most of the fans here that we know that are in the New York area are Evil Empire fans, they're the Yankees. So my friend Matt Coy is a big Mets fan, the only one I really know. You want to read these here, pal? Patrick Ewing. Got a skybox. Give me something to talk Here's a wild card from football. Can you read that? It is Warren Moon. Warren Moon. Do you want me to sleep that? I don't really think you need to. Here's a cool card. 91 tops. Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. And the worst card holder ever. Uh, 92 tops. Sorry. That's so far the best card we've pulled, as far as I can tell. 
You read that one? Dan Marley, Phoenix Suns. Here's a good one. It's got one on the back. Can you read that one? Emmett Smith of the Cowboys, and on the back of Blue Jays from Sports Illustrated for, or Topps Magazine, uh, Roberto Alomar. Uh, it looks like it's been cut out. It was perforated and pulled out of a pack, yep. Oh, here's one. Here's a dandy. Chipper Jones. Adam's Card Closet. There you go. Yeah, ah, Chipper Jones. Dave Justice. I knew it wasn't Chipper Jones, but anyway, there you go. David Justice. And that's close to his rookie. That may technically be his rookie. I don't know. Dave Justice was a, was a stud, though. But lots of guys like the Braves. Braves are a good team. Here's some interesting ones that came from Dairy Queen, and it's Tops, Team USA, um, Chris Roberts, Tony Phillips, Kenny Steenstra, and B.J. Surhoff. So of those four guys, only one guy really made it in the big leagues. But B.J. Suroff played for the Brewers for a long time. Was a pretty good player. And those came from Dairy Queen. So, here's one. It's a wild card. Literally, a wild card. With Juan Gonzalez on the back out of Topps Magazine. Here's a Stadium Club football. Anthony Carter. Members' Choice. Minnesota Vikings. Skull Brothers. Sports Card Talk Show. Check them out. Here's a nice one. Michael Irvin rookie card. So this one takes the cake for our top card. Look at this amazingly oversized sleeve that it was in. It's, but considering it's been in a box for a long time, it's, really it's actually in, it's just bold. It's actually in pretty good shape. So let's let's top load this one because that's a Michael Irvin rookie. I've had a sleeve in my hand for so long. Yep, and you weren't even paying attention. So there we go, Michael Irvin super rookie. That's probably a not a half bad card. Here's a guy, Trader A, wore his jersey to church on Sunday. Oops, oh. sorry about that. Boomer. Boomer Esiason, Cincinnati Bengals quarterback, team MVP. Was one of my favorite players for a long time. Here we go, 4-1 breaks, Beaver breaks, everybody breaks. They like the New York Yankees. This is Mike Stanley, like one of the last catchers they had before Jorge Posada. Oh, Alvin Davis here. The California Angels. And, well, how about this guy right here? Mr. Herm Willing Winningham. It's a red shop. Who's for, whose team is he for? Us. Yeah, we ain't putting him in a sleeve. He, he, don't, he don't belong in a sleeve. We got just a couple more left in this little way back Wednesday spot. Trader Abe doesn't have much to say here today for some reason. Here's Kevin Mitchell. This guy was a home run hitting machine, 92 tops. How about the old Woolworth baseball highlights? Oh, Jose Canseco. I might be sleeping the next one. Uh, no, I don't think you probably will. I don't even know who it is, but it's, it's your favorite. Girl. Nope, it's a saint. Good try, though. Oh, it's a saint. Jose Canseco from the Woolworth baseball highlights. I'll tell you what. Rocky, I don't know if you got this. It's one of number one of 33. That's not a short print. That means there's 33 cards in this set from 1989 tops, but it talks about Canseco being the MVP for the American League in 1988. Wait, that I think we're going to put it in a package here with Ricky Henderson. We're going to send it your way. Is that the first one made? No. And here is Mr. Team MVP, Pat Swilling of the New Orleans Saints. I would love to see his numbers for being the team MVP of a terrible team. But that is way back Wednesday. And before we get off of here, Trader Ray, why don't you tell them what we got coming up? Because we got some cool stuff we're going to return to. Yeah, we do. We have some more 2021 hoops. Coming up. We Absolutely, also, we do. We also have a new product. We got for the weekend. We're gonna have some NBA hoops retail fat packs. We also have 2021 a new product. And new tops 2021 series like, one baseball. Like it's got a hobby and a blaster. Can't wait to get into those and let you see what we got. So, thanks for watching, Trader Abe AC. Make sure that you click right down here to subscribe. Make sure you're notified. Click right over here to see our last video, and we will catch you on the flip side. Bye.